So here's why we want to install this pool. We have this incredible view and those are the Blue Ridge Mountains over there. And this is, this is our house. So um, we have a screen porch there. This is our tiny little backyard. And this is the area that used to be just red clay, basically. We didn't landscape it. So we decided that this would be a perfect place for a pool. But as you can see, we have quite a large slope here and you need a flat place to put a pool. So we had a company come in and build these retaining walls and that allowed us to have this flat area. So let me give you a little tour. This gives you a good view of what we're dealing with. Here's the slope. So our land slopes down this way and this way, which is why that corner is so high. So we had to have the majority of the wall built right there. It's about a six foot tall wall right there and then it tapers off here. But this is what we ended up doing. There was actually a whole bunch of rock that was right in this section that our contractor had to dig up with a jackhammer. You can actually see a little of it still there. But this wall is keeping our grass from disintegrating and falling off. And, um, and then this lower wall is obviously meant to keep the pool level. So what we did was, or what we're going to do is, the pool is going to be in this area here and there will be a deck around it. So it's going to look built in. But let me show you a couple of things that they had to do. So here we are at the yard level. There's actually um, pipes, drainage pipes that run under there. And you can see this one is exposed. So that keeps um, all the water that runs down the mountain that goes into this dirt. There's a pipe that runs there and there's one on the other side that does the same thing. And that keeps the water from, it gives the water a place to go once it, once it hits the start right here. Then you see this other gray pipe that comes out, it's conduit that comes out. You can kind of see where it goes over here we actually, that's for electrical. So we wanted to make sure that was buried. So there's going to be a fountain or a water feature of some kind on the side of the pool. So we're gonna need electricity. Plus, we're not quite sure we're putting the, the um, filtration system and all of that. So we figured we would at least have um, electrical conduit in place so the wire can get run easily. And then it basically goes to right there. And then our electrical panel is right inside there. So it's not too far away. So this is stage one in building a pool on the side of a mountain. Stay tuned for the next phase, which is building the pool itself, which is a kit. And you can find out more at livinginspiredbymom.com. And I have a blog, blog post on this. And please like and subscribe if you want to see the next stages. Should be interesting. Thanks.